All right, Cortana, what does the fox say? Ring ding 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 a ring ding ding ding. Windows 10 might not look that different from the last Windows 8.1, but once you start using it, there are some cool new features. But I guess the question is, should everyone at least try it, or is it just a small and significant upgrade? So I've been using Windows 10 for about a week now on this computer behind me, and this is where I use Chrome on the daily. It's where I game every now and then, but most importantly, it's where I do all of my work. So you can see that it's kind of important for me to have an OS that can do all of that and still keep up with everything else that I do. So after spending some quality time with it, here's what I have to say about Windows 10. All right, so the first thing that kind of jumped out to me is a return of the start menu. There's actually not a dedicated page for your apps anymore. Everything is now pretty much here. And I personally really like that. It still has that sort of metro theme with different tiles that give you glanceable information like the weather and news and all these other things. And on the left here, you can go to all of your different apps and settings and everything else that you're familiar about Windows. There's also a new browser called Microsoft Edge, which is supposed to replace Internet Explorer and be a lot faster and all of that. And it is absolutely fantastic. No, I'm kidding. It absolutely sucks. Don't even try They Just change the name. It's still really slow. Just get Chrome and forget all about it. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, there are some subtle changes on how it looks now. You'll find a few bells and whistles in Windows 10, like different animations and sounds. The settings panel is a good example of that. You can see how the text zooms in and out every time I click on it, or how every new window that I open has a fade in transition. There's also a very distinctive sound every time I unplug or plug something in, but you'll obviously have to get used to that in the long run or change it in the settings. The taskbar looks a little bit different now too. There's sort of a black transparent background now compared to a clear one back on Windows 8. You also have a new task view where you can see all of your apps running at the same time, and it's awesome. I use this feature all the time. And there's also a new search bar here on the bottom left, which leads you to Cortana. It's still not as good as something like Google Now, but I can't argue that it's ridiculously optimized for Windows, and it could actually be pretty funny too. What's the weather? It's currently 67 and sunny. What's your favorite color? Right now, it's cobalt. What's zero divided by zero? Mathematically, it's undefined. Philosophically, it's one of those deep questions like, how do you hold a moonbeam in your hand? How do you feel about cats? Yeah, man, cats are cool. Yeah, man, cats are cool. Overall, Windows 10 is really fast and everything works pretty smooth. If you bought a computer in the past, I'd say three years, then you should be able to run it like a boss with no problems. But I did run into a couple issues here and there, and while these may be specific to my experience, uh, I think they're still worth mentioning. All right, so the first thing that I miss from Windows 8 is a sound mixer. Now you can go into the sound settings, but I like being used to change the sound of different apps right on the taskbar, and there may still be a way to do that, but I haven't figured it out. But another thing is that as soon as I installed Windows 10, my audio drivers went completely missing and it actually took me a couple hours to figure out what was wrong and how to fix it. But aside from these minor gripes, I do actually really like Windows 10 so far. There's a lot of really cool new features that anyone can take advantage of, and it's also a free upgrade, so it's kind of a no-brainer whether or not you should upgrade. Now, I feel like Windows 10 is what Windows 8 should have been from the beginning, uh, and that being said, I definitely recommend you guys to check it out once you have your upgrade available. If you already have Windows 10, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and also follow me on Twitter so that we can talk about it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this mini review of Windows 10, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one.